everybody it's me andrew get out into nature and tune in for yourself resonate with the earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz the universal frequency balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart coherence as well get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life we are literally herbivores in our nature further balance out your physical body's ph level and get with alkalinity then you can generate some static electricity send me some love telepathically set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate that is all there is to telepathy you are now tuning in to great days so uh this evening i'm going to talk on ego and uh what ego is okay so let's get into this uh so ego is pretty much who you think you are right uh your sense of self-identity this is the ego uh the ego is i right we all share this uh when we speak of ourselves we speak i okay i do this i am this person i am a, a specific way of life right i okay this is ego we all share the same i right everybody says i am this or i am doing or i am a way of life right so we are all um i so we all share an ego we all share same ego and ego uh, this is collective ego so i is a uh, is ego right and ego once again is sense of self identity is a uh, i want to say it's a very very it's a minute dimension of intelligence right of mind and uh it's just an identification a system of identification that is uh that is small in its nature okay and as an entity because it is an entity it is uh an entity that thrives off of conflict and it is an entity that thrives off of fear it is an entity that thrives off of arguing and fighting and uh resistance right because the ego is usually bounded uh by this i mean uh, your sense of self identity can only exist within a uh, bounded uh form and because of this what usually comes with uh, the ego is uh the physical form right and maybe maybe uh some thoughts attached to it or something and uh when <laughs> and and when uh when you start to to over identify yourself or over entangle yourself with the system of identification within intelligent intelligence the ego the sense of self identity you can uh begin to suffer or you can begin to uh get yourself into deeper and deeper conflicts right uh you can get into deeper and deeper karma as you can get into deeper and deeper uh, actions right uh that you're that are coming from identification you're identi- you're identifying yourself with a certain way or a certain person uh a certain system of conditionings you know uh who you see in the mirror uh who you think you are okay you're identifying yourself with this this is the ego and uh when you're identifying yourself with with uh the ego you're only uh swimming in your karma you know because uh the ego is action in a way because it has to continuously do something in order for it to be identified with right so uh you can work on uh changing the identification or you can completely dissolve away the identification uh um, by dissolving away the dimension of intelligence of mind within yourself through whatever uh, yoga or meditation or whatever methods you can find for yourself to be able to dissolve it dissolve uh, that dimension away or dissolve the ego away or or transcend the ego right uh, is what is what is called or kill the ego okay what transcendent would probably be better because it's transcending the ego you transcend 
the dimension of mind that uh, we have been fixed into, you know, which is uh, just the tip of the iceberg, or maybe not even that, more, um, more minute than that, you know, because you can recede where your awareness is of the dimension of mind, you know, so you don't have to just dwell in the dimension of identification and you can go into deeper and deeper uh, realities, right? But instead, they keep us within uh, the very the minute dimension of the intelligence of the mind, because uh, they want us to be fixed in the ego, so we can continue to live in karma uh, or in Maya, right? The illusory world. So you can. Um, you can find methods to be able to uh, recede into deeper and deeper dimensions of mind, you know, and yoga and meditation have been used for this forever, okay? You can use psychedelics as well, right? Psychedelics work. They show you that there's more and you can carry it on from there, right? With uh, healthier methods if you don't see it as healthy or you can just trust the flow of the universe, the Tao, Dharma, and trust this as well. Uh, and you eventually get to a healthier state of consciousness, right? Because uh, getting over identified with a falsehood is very crippling to a fulfilling life, well-being, because uh, once again, you can get attached to things that are not true, right? Uh, like insecurities or, or whatever it may be. But there is no security, so there's no reason to ever bring it into question, uh, insecure or secure. So uh, you then can understand that that's something that you have demented yourself into under thinking. Right, and then you ident you've identified with those thoughts that came from that dimension, or the dementa, right? Uh, and um, so you can, uh, you dissolve away the ego, transcend the ego. Once again, you can find whatever method works best for you. Mm, yoga and meditation is probably the most practical, right? But there's plenty of methods to be able to do this. Uh, but the ego, that's all it is. It's a, uh, it's a sense of self-identity within the, uh, within a dimension of intelligence of mind, right? And you can shift your awareness into deeper dimensions of mind one that is more immersified in the here and now, the eternal here and now, so that all illusory conceptual realities that are dualistic and conflicting or tensioning can slowly be um, transcended, you know? And, and once you have a deeper experience from uh, diving into deeper dimensions of mind, which is also going to result in a complete experiential change because mind is perception, Mind is perceptual. So the moment you are going into deeper dimensions of the mind, your perception of life changes. So experience changes. And once you have an experience of something beyond the ego that uh, you are always identified overly with, you can change the identification into a more uh, universal one or a more uh, omnipresent one or omnipresent omnipotent one or an omniscient one you know one that is all-knowing uh, a godly identification you know because we are the universal energy and that is your organism that's the truth of it that's more true than um than the bounded physical third dimensional state of being or even a fourth dimensional mental state of being so uh all you got to do is is learn how to transcend the ego uh, plenty of ways to do this already. You just got to get in tune with them, right? So 
do thank everybody for watching. Once again, peace out, one love, and have a great evening.